welcome to Den of Tools. Howdy ho, guys and gals. It's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the old Den of Tools. And today we got a top 10, yes, top 10 hardware stores in the United States for you. Now, we're measuring these by uh, by by dollars, by, by gross income, not by uh, size of the store, how many tools they have, or anything like that. So we're going to start off here with, with number 10. And, and number 10 is going to be Mead Lumber. They're going to have, I think their their yearly sales are around just under $1 billion. There's about 45 of these stores around the United States. Now, they're a Do It Best store. Now, if you're not familiar with Do It Best, Do It Best is a chain of hardware stores, sort of. What they are is they're a co-op sort of, of, of stores. In fact, there are many stores out there that are actually in the Do It Best line, but they don't even put Do It Best on any of the stuff. You don't have to. It's not a franchise per se. It's a, As I said, it's more like a co-op. Uh, these stores are mainly... Uh, Let's see, we got them in Colorado, Iowa, Kansas, Montana. Uh, I don't see any near me. Maybe next time in Billings, I'll check one out. We got Nebraska, Oklahoma, South Dakota, and the Wyoming. So, uh, as I said, 45 or so stores. They are a, a not exactly a franchise, but a, a member of the Do It Best co-op. Uh, and as I was saying, many Do It Best stores, even though they use their systems, they you know they they benefit from a lot of the uh, the shared resources. They may not put "Do It Best" on their logo or on the building, but they may still be some of your favorite hardware stores. Might actually be a "Do It Best" store. All right, and the next one on the list, number uh, number nine in the list, if you would, is West Lake Ace Hardware. Now you're thinking Ace Hardware, right? So I, I've heard of Ace Hardware. What does West Lake mean? Well, yet again, much like the Do It Best one, Westlake, or I should say Ace Hardware, they only own a few corporate stores. Most of their stores are actual franchises. Now, they do list them as a cooperative venture kind of thing, but they are actually a, a franchise there. Westlake is actually, they're, they're massive when it comes to it. Westlake Hardware, let's see here. They've got, they're headquartered in uh, Lenexa, Kansas. They've got over 1,000 employees they have 130 stores in California, Missouri, North Carolina, Illinois, Nebraska, Oklahoma, Iowa, New Mexico, Texas, Kansas, New York, and Washington. There doesn't seem to be a rhyme or reason as to where they show up, but they have you know they have a lot of stores across the United States. Now, just to give you an idea here, let me go over to the profile here for Ace Hardware. Now, this is on Entrepreneur.com where they rate franchises and stuff like that. If we look here. We're looking at company owned 194 and they have 4,370 franchises in the U S this means that Westlake almost owns as many stores as the company itself. That's, that's something to really talk about there. If you've ever been to one of these Westlake hardware or ACE hardware, I'd love to hear your comments. In fact, if you've been to any of these, these ones that are kind of regional that we don't get to see a lot, uh, I'd love to hear what your take on them is in the comments down below. All right, let's talk about what's the next one on our list. And the next one is going to be McCoy's Building Supply. If you haven't heard of these, I, I'm not surprised. So McCoy's is, is another one of these hardware stores. That it's locally, In fact, I believe it's family owned. And I believe that they're based in Texas. Founded in 1927, uh, McCoy moved his family, a small contract roofing business, from the big city of Houston to Galveston, Texas. I've heard a lot of things about McCoy's over the days. I've never actually been to one, though. I wish I could. I think they've got about 88 stores. I believe it was down here. Let me just double check here. Yeah, they've got 88 building supply stores uh, and in within a five-state area. They've got stores in Texas, New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, Texas, Arkansas, Texas, Mississippi, and also in Texas. Okay, I repeated Texas a lot because they're all over Texas with a few stores in some of the outlying uh, states there. As I said, they're one of the bigger privately held uh, family-owned stores. So if you're in the Texas area or the surrounding states and you've been there, love to hear what your take on McCoy's there. Unfortunately, you know, I wish I could go everywhere. I just can't. There's just only one uh, one tool bear to go around. So uh, hopefully next summer we're planning to do a little bit of a trip. Maybe we'll get to check some of these out. But until then, we're going to rely on you for a lot of these. Next up, we got 
Sutherland's. Now, Sutherland's, I mean, if you look there at the sales numbers, there's not much difference there. So Sutherland's is another family-owned store. They've been around over 100 years, founded by Robert R. Sutherland himself, based in Kansas City, Missouri. Sutherland's is one of the largest privately owned, again, home improvement centers. They're spread across 13 states. They currently operate 49 stores. We want to take a look at where they're at. Uh, here's a good reference chart here or map for us. Looks like we got Wyoming, Colorado, uh, Utah, New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Bama, Kentucky, and Ohio. We're kind of, uh, you know, spread all the way, reach over here to get Ohio. Usually you see these stores spread out based upon uh, supply chain. So not sure how that happened. But uh, clearly, they're a growing store. They're doing pretty well. If you've been to one, I'd love to hear your input on it. Next on the list, we got Northern Tool. Yep, you've heard me talk about these guys before. We often include them in our deals of the week. Uh, this is a company that is, I always get a chuckle out of it. And, and I'll explain to you why in just a minute. So Northern Tool, they're a big online uh, reseller. They have a ton of stores as well. Um, so Northern Tool family owned and operated as well for over 35 years. Donald Catula, I'm sorry if I'm mangling his last name, grew up in Minnesota's Iron Range and uh, started there, uh, built a, his first store as a supplier for people in that area, uh, for the mining community and whatnot. And they've built their, their way up from there, adding in more and more products now. And, uh, you know, they continue to grow and grow, grow. They currently have well over a hundred stores at this point. And this is why I get the chuckle is because the, while they were founded in Minnesota, they went South quick and you will find them predominantly in the South and the Southeast. I don't under, cause I always hear people talking about, they love going to Northern tool. And when I see what state they're from, it's like Florida or Louisiana or North Carolina or something, someplace down South. I'm like, well, all right. If that's your thing, they have stores in, Looks like we got Alabama, Arkansas, Florida, Georgia, Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, Kansas, Louisiana, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Nebraska, North Carolina, North Dakota, Oklahoma, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Virginia, and Wisconsin. Wisconsin there. All right. And number five on our list, <laughs> biggest stores by sales is Sears. Now, hold on. This is not Sears, the big Sears. This is Sears hometown. And this is going to get a little tricky, I have to be honest with you. It, in fact, it even says Sears Hometown Store, locally owned and operated. And, you know, they've got a lot of stuff here. It, it's These are the smaller Sears kind of outlets that you see in strip malls and stuff like that, where they carry the, the home essentials, as I always think about it. You'll, you'll have a lot of appliances. You'll have some furniture, maybe. Uh, you'll get a lawn and garden and some tools and, and whatnot. There was a breakup with Sears. And if you follow, I did a video on the whole thing about Sears. You can follow that in our, our history. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the history playlist and you like that sort of thing, you definitely should. I'll try to remember to put a link down below to that. But uh, currently, we they're in 42 states right now. Now, they have just shy of 400 stores at this point. But I'm not sure if they're all Sears stores that are listed or if they're this new American Freight store. American Freight. So what happened was, this is kind of weird. you got to bear with me. <laughs> when Sears was going under, they spun off the, the Sears outlet a couple years ahead of time. They knew Sears was going to hit the side of a mountain. So they tried to take something that they thought was still viable and spin it off. And half of it got bought by something called the Franchise Group. And these guys changed the name to this American Freight, and they started these American Freight stores. The other half went on as Sears Hometown and Outlet stores, and that is still owned by, yeah, you know who owns it. It's Fast Eddie, Eddie Lazard. And, yep, he's still controlling these. Now, the the sad part is that uh, they're still having issues so earlier this year, uh, the Wall Street Journal reported that they're, they're having problems getting a hold of product. Uh, and a lot of it has to do with the fact that they've ruined Sears' credit. Uh, if anything associated with, with Lampere and Sears and all that has just gone down the hole. 
I don't know if they've been able to fix it by now, but from what I've seen from other places, I, it's slowly coming back, but not that fast. They're forcing them to pay for stuff ahead of time before they'll ship to them. So, who, you know, only time will tell when it comes to uh, the Sears outlet thing. Now, before we move on anymore, I also want to say we got, you know, the Shine On stickers back in over at the Den of Tools, if you're interested in that. This is denoftools.com shop. We also, besides the magnets, we had the larger magnets. Uh, we've got in medium size magnets as well. They're a little bit less expensive. So if you I know people have been asking about those. So anyway, uh, there'll be a link down below to that kind of stuff. All right. We're up to number four on our list, the largest hardware stores in the U.S. And number four is, you guessed it the good old Harbor Freights. Yeah. So, you know, if you've been around the channel, you know who Harbor Freight is. Uh, Harbor Freight has been, you know, for a long time, they've been around for over 40 years at this point. Uh, founded in, in 1977, a father and son eff effort. I did a whole history on Harbor Freight. Again, I'll try to link to that as well uh, down below. This is a real rags to riches kind of thing. Uh, the founder got put up for adoption because his dad couldn't afford to take care of him and his mom, who I believe had MS. Uh, you know, and then he came back uh, as a teenager and started the business with his dad and they've built it from the ground up. Anyway, it's a pretty cool story if you want to hear it. The, the fact of the matter is they now have 1,100 stores across the U.S. Uh, they're growing by leaps and bounds. And, uh, you know, we talk about them all the time here, so I'm not really going to spend a lot of time on them. But one thing to take note is they are the last store we're going to see on this list that is not a major big box retailer. And that's kind of impressive when you think about it. All right, next on our list, we're, at, we're down to the top three largest hardware stores in the U.S. Do you know who they are? We're going to take a second to comment. Can you guess who one, two, and three are? Go on. I'll wait. Okay, pause the video if you need to. We're going to move on. Anyway, here we go. Number three is Menards. <laughs> Yeah, now if you haven't heard of Menards, I, I wouldn't be surprised, but they are a big box store. I used to live in Menards country. I went actually drove quite a ways this summer, went to a Menards. Wasn't driving to go to the Menards, but uh they were there. This Menards is one of my favorite stores from back in the day. They have everything. It's like a Walmart and a Home Depot combined. They have tons of stuff. They have great sales, great stuff for the home. Uh they've really expanded their tool lineup. They have about 11, save 11%. They do this 11% rebate thing uh, that is kind of cool, uh, but it, it can also be kind of scammy depending on how you look at it. Uh, Menards has been around uh, since 1958, and uh, they're a family owned company. Uh, they're headquartered in Eclair, Eau Claire, Wisconsin. You know how the bear is with, with city names. And they have more than 300 stores around the U.S. Now, as to their locations, they are really clumped in the Midwest here. They are, you know, if you're in the the uh, Lake Michigan area, there's no, you can't throw a rock and not hit a Menards. Uh, it spreads out a little bit more as you go west. Uh, they've gone through the Dakotas, over as you see, just barely into Wyoming. Why we don't have one in Billings at the very least is beyond me. They've been talking about it for years. Still hasn't happened. They got them out in the Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, uh, a few in northern Kentucky, of course, the Ohio, Michigan area. You got a, a one in West Virginia, it looks like, uh, just barely across the border in Pennsylvania. Uh, Minnesota, of course, and Illinois just, just swarmed with these things. They're all the way up into the, it looks like the Upers up there in upper Michigan. Uh, they're all over in that area, but if you're anywhere else, uh, you're out of luck because that's all there is. But these are big stores. They're on par with Home Depot and Lowe's and the other big box stores. Of course, saying that probably gives it away as to who we got next up here. Do you have it? Is it going to be Home Depot or is it going to be Lowe's? The the drama, can you, can you sense it? Yeah, it's Lowe's. But man, look at that jump in sales. You know, from Mead Lumber, Westlake, McCoy's, Sutherland's, Northern Tool, even Sears Outlet. You know, they're right there within spitting distance. Harbor Freight was starting to pull away. Menards was like gaining tractions and Lowe's is like, I don't even know who you guys are. Lowe's is way out there in front. And there's a reason for that because Lowe's is, let's be honest, they're the original big box store. Lowe's is founded in, was founded in North Carolina. 
Uh, they now have, have just over 2,000 stores. They were founded in 1921. When it comes to big box stores, they're the granddaddy. Everyone thinks that's Home Depot, but that's not true. Now, granted, their stores were not as big as they are now. All right, that part is true, but they were decent sized stores. And, uh, but one of the things that that was one of the things that made Home Depot stand out when they came on the scene, and that was that their stores were even bigger. And that was the thing. They wanted to go to these giant, you know, truly big box stores right from the get go. Now, Home Depot here, of course, I should show you here, they're way out in head still. They're, 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 they're just, you know, almost uncatchable at this point. In fact, Lowe's hired one of the guys who got passed over for CEO at Home Depot in an attempt to get them caught up with Home Depot. So Home Depot has 20, just over 2,200 stores at this point. Of course, they were founded, I believe it was in Atlanta, Georgia, and they're across the nation at the, this point. By the way, I should point out, if you're watching this video today on the day it gets released, up to 30% off select garage and home storage. They got some really cool Husky stuff, benches and carts going on right now. So you might want to check that out. Anyway, Home Depot, as I said, they were founded in 1978 with Bernie Marcus there on the left and Arthur Blank there on the right. And uh, these guys led the store for decades uh, until uh, Bernie was the first one to retire. Arthur Blank stayed on for a little bit longer than he retired. Both of these guys are mega billionaires at this point in fact arthur blank the guy on the right owns the atlanta falcons and i have to say a big shout a big thank you to him he owns two ranches up here near where i live like within spitting distance around here and he sponsored the local foot youth football teams uh and here's a picture of my youngest cub there he was thrilled to get into football this year and i gotta say a special thanks to mr blank for making that possible all right, so there we go. That's your top 10 hardware stores in the United States. But wait, you know, the bear can never leave it at, at just top 10. So we got to talk about who else is out there, who is, who should be on this list, but really isn't. And the first one is, is one that you're going to shake your head at and be like, bear, that's not really a hardware store, but they would beg to differ. And that, of course, is Walmart. Now, Walmart, if you've been following the channel, we've talked about this in the past two years. They've made a huge push to rebrand their internal uh, home improvement and hardware section. They've upscaled everything about it. They fixed them up. They're way nicer than they used to be. And on top of that, they've done some, uh, some brand changes. They kicked out Black & Decker and replaced them with their own low-level DIY intro uh, tool system called to HyperTough. And the HyperTough system is honestly not terrible considering the price. You, now, granted that, you know, they have a NICAT system here for $18, but they got 20 volt max for 29 for $30. This is comparable to Harbor Freight's uh, Warrior line and many of the other like low level stuff that we see in, in other places. But they've got quite a tool line here. If you notice, they've got indoor, they've got outdoor tools. One of the things that I think is exceptional that I wish more tool companies would do is when it comes to outdoor power equipment, they offer a 40 volt line, but they offer it as two batteries. So you're taking two of the 20 volts, plugging it in and getting a 40 volt out of that rather than having to buy an entirely different line. And when it comes to outdoor power equipment, there is a, ma a major difference between 20 volt and 40 volt power. Now, the other thing they did was they kicked Porter Cable to the curb. Now, the thing to remember is Porter Cable and Stanley Black & Decker, say Porter Cable and Black & Decker, were both Stanley Black & Decker products. So basically, they kicked Stanley Black & Decker out. In fact, you'll see Stanley hand tools going away as well, and they're all getting replaced by either HyperTough or Hart, both in the hand tools and in the power tools. And, of course, uh, Hart is a brand that was... Uh, brought up it was originally a hand tool a hammer brand that was owned by tti and now is uh kind of a it shares a lot of the dna i would say the majority of its dna with ryobi but not all of it of course it has the slide-in batteries rather than the ryobi batteries i think honestly it's a better line th than most of the ryobi stuff we see out there this this heart folding table i talk about it all the time it you see a lot of these clones out here this is the least expensive of the clones and it's just as good as any of the other ones 
Uh, there's a lot to like about the heart line. There's a lot that we wish, oh, of course there's heart to heart, <laughs> but there's also a lot that we wish like we'd, we we want to see more sales on this and, and we want to see it come down in price a bit, you know, it being Walmart, but of course it's a new item. It, they're going to let it sell out. And then when things cool off, they'll of course start doing their, you know, their traditional rollback pricing. Who else is out there who's really killing it in the, in the tool section that isn't one of the listed retailers? And that has to be, you know, if you know, I would say if Walmart's the 800 pound gorilla, this is King Kong and that's Amazon. Amazon has been pushing hard into hardware, into power tools, into hand tools, the whole nine yards. We've got all sorts of brands that no one has ever heard of go Goxawi. I mean, what does that even mean? This is a mini circular saw by Hychika. Uh, of course, the Tack Life we've talked about, but then they've got name brand professional tools like DeWalt and Milwaukee and Makita and others. They've got lots of great options. They've got the you know the intro brands. Uh, we got Skill over there. This one is obviously clearly made to look like Ryobi, but it's not. So you know that's a good question. Where do you guys prefer to shop? You know, are you, are you checking out the smaller stores? Are you you going over and uh, and going online? Is that your go to now? I say I'm a big proponent. If you've ever been around the channel, you've heard the bear say many times, I like to support the local stores. And that's why I got to give a special shout out to my buddy Dan over at Riverside Hardware here in, in Livingston, Montana. If you get a chance to check him out, if you're in town, you're in the area, even if you're just passing through, you got to check out this store. This has got to be one of the most beautiful stores I've ever seen when it comes to hardware. He, Dan knows knows everything he knows exactly what he's talking about see we're getting ready for winter there and uh he knows where everything in the store is he's a fantastic guy look at that store part of main street right in downtown he's got prices similar to what we see at the big box store i gotta tell you i feel like we're really lucky to have a store like this in in our neighborhood and i try to at every opportunity when i need to go pick something up that's the first place i go I, I go there before I, I make a drive over to Lowe's or Home Depot or anyplace else. I go see if Dan has it. If he doesn't have it, uh, th that's when I'll make the run to the big box stores. But I always try to, and I hope you can as well. And if you can't, I totally get it. But if you can, please remember to support the local store. Shop local when you can. Anyway, that's all the bear has for you today. That's our top 10 hardware stores. Any surprises for you? Anything jump out? Anything you haven't heard of? And again, if there was a store on here, one of these regional stores that you know about that we we don't know, I, I would love to hear more about it. Anyway, you all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.